What happens when you take a Nokia NFF12, feed it raw steroids for a full year and occasionally inject some of that fancy concrete? This, the Noctua NFF12 Industrial PPC3000. Or, in other words, uh, the not-so-happy ending if you think about tinkering inside your build while it's up. So this is one of Noctua's industrial lineup of fans. And before we go any deeper, let's see what industrial PPC actually means. Unimpressively, there is no fancy extra meaning behind all of this, and PPC just stands for Protected Performance Cooling. And although the name sounds really cool and aggressive, Industrial Protected Performance Cooling is essentially just a fancy way of saying these things come with a industrial grade performance while being somehow protected. Overall, there are six 120mm NFF12 fans within the industrial PPC lineup, most of which come with IP52 rating, while the special IP67 models come with, you guessed it, IP67 rating. And to quickly refresh our memories on here, IP52 means dust protected, but not safe, while it can survive some random ass calculations of drops per minute for 10 minutes and oh what the hell, just don't put it in water. IP67 on the other hand is way more interesting. There we have dust proof and it can be submerged into a meter of water for half an hour. And although it is really cool that you can do that, you will never use it, hopefully. Anyway, what we have here is the normal IP52 version, but in its full 3000 RPM glory. Basically, what would happen if you would take 10 normal NFF12 fans, squish all of them together, and mount that whole thing to a goddamn radiator. And on a short side note, there are also two special 24 volts versions, which are apparently specifically tested for the automotive world. I never saw that used in the wild, but it's kind of cool that there may be some random ass BMW running around whose radiator is being cooled by a bunch of NFF12. Now on the actual fan, the full name of this thing is actually NFF12 Industrial PPC 3000 RPM. Just like 90% of Noxia fans out there, it has a ridiculous amount of little enhancements and whatnot, which combined make sure that the fan doesn't tear into pieces once you crank up those 3000 RPM. Yes, this thing is capable of spinning at 3000 RPM while sitting close to 110 CFM at a ridiculous 7.63 millimeters of H2O. Instead of going for the usual approach, you can control everything by using that little PVM plug at the end of the 40 centimeters long extension. So yes, there will be no extension cable included in the package. And speaking of which, the usually styled box comes pretty much empty, just a fan and a bunch of screws. However, although the industrial lineup is solely available in black, which looks very similarly to the Chromex black line, this is not a, a swap fan, so no extra color drawer mountings inside the box. All you are left with are the brown ones, which are already pre-installed on the fan. Although, if you have them, they fit. With all of that out of the way, let's see how far a 3000 RPM fan can push it in our benchmarks. While letting the thing hit 100% of its PVM, it managed to keep the 37 at 35 degrees C above ambient, outperforming the standing champion T30 by just a single degree C and placing itself at the very top of our list. Truly freaking incredible. At the cost of noise. A, a lot of noise. No matter how loud you think a fan can potentially be, a NFF12 industrial will be louder. On the noise to performance charts, we can see that the steroid F12 did manage to outperform the T30, but it was able to do so by brute forcing its way up to the top. While lowering the target temperature, the T30 quickly takes over and manages to stay ahead almost all the way through. But just almost, because the F12 is the second fan we have ever seen which was able to keep the system going even at, at very minimal speeds, where it was able to keep the CPU at 70 degrees C and, funnily enough, in that range the F12 managed to deliver a very impressive noise-to-performance ratio just 
nowhere else. So with that out of the way, let's talk a bit about who this fan actually is for, of course. This is not going to be for everybody. To make one thing very clear, just like it was with the 3000 RPM range for the T30s, you don't need this. If your system needs this, there is something wrong with your system and you need to fix it first. And I'm not even joking, for a, a real world system, there is absolutely no need to, to use this section here. It is ridiculous and simply just loud, unnecessarily loud. You could argue that having the extra power is good because you can simply let them spin slower. Well, technically that's true, but in every other section it would be utterly beaten by an NF812X25. So here is how I see it. For normal PCs, a A12X25 will always be the best option. Therefore, unlike what we are used to, to nowadays with that army of unnecessary flashy buzzwords for every freaking product, Noxia's industrial line is really just that, a industrial line. And that's perfectly fine. For things like enormous servers and, and even cars for that matter, this is actually very useful without driving you into suicide. For normal people, believe me, this is too much. However, for the six weirdos out there like me, on the other hand, this is the fastest and best fan I have seen so far, so this is the way to go. So where does this leave us? On a build quality side, there is absolutely nothing negative to be said here. It's a bit better Noxia fan and it looks and feels exactly how you would imagine. On the performance end, Sure, max performance is completely insane, but noise to performance is a bit annoying. First it's really bad, then average, and then it's kind of uh, almost becomes good. It's, it's really weird. But generally it is just not on the same noise to performance level as something like an A12X25 for example. But come on, it's, it's an industrial version. Who, who would use this in a normal build? On the price side however, it's kind of funny. Even if the MSRP clearly states otherwise, right now I can get an NF F12 Industrial for around 6 euros cheaper than a NF A12X25 because that makes any sense. To draw some sort of conclusion, um, this is a month of a fan and for any sane person who wants to have a normal build, go for an NF A12X25. For the insane people out there, the NF F12 Industrial will be the best. But okay, this should be it for Noxia's NF F12 Industrial monstrous fan. At this point, a big thank you to Noxia for sending them over, but if you want to keep watching, have a look at our take on the Redux line, where we had a look at Noxia's NF P12 Redux fan. Um, also a very interesting option. On a side note, we also have a Discord server now, so join and let's talk about what you were able to uh, cut in half using uh, an industrial lineup fan. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.